pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First line is yours. So you won't remarket your house. It's the very first line. Is that, is that Michael? Is the lava? And if you're a child with the Constitution of the State of New York, I'll show you where to find it. Everybody's nervous. Which makes excellent bits I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> do, do I have to take an oath? Or? <laughs> I got to There you go. Do I have to read this or just solemnly swear you that I will support the Constitution? Do share, John. <laughs> Jeannie's watching My Little Pony. My Little Pony almost popped up. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is this how it's going to be for the next I'm year? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to item 5B, I'd like to call for nominations for Office of Vice President, please. All right, I'll nominate Michelle Wright. I second. Those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Abstentions? You're on, kid. <laughs> yes, we're going to make it official before we move on to any other new business. This is on. I just need to sign this, correct? The first line, yeah. So before we move on to um, the rest of the Board of Education agenda, um, Kimberly, if you'd like to introduce uh, our, to. our newest member of administrative team. So I'd like to welcome Lauren Pullman. She's the newest member of the administrative team. She's our new business administrator, and she officially started today. That's right. Thank you so much for letting me join you. We're delighted to have you working with us, probably not as much as Kimberly is. <laughs> but, <laughs> but absolutely great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, for our new members, yes. So, yes, um, to introduce our new members, although the audience is, is small, um, Diane Lynn and Joanna Haynes, and our Grace Heptic, our student member. We're delighted to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, now on to the routine business of reorganizing uh, for the 2017-18 school year. Um, because there are so many items, I would like to take them in, in discrete groups, um, not necessarily as a consent agenda, um, which usually precludes any discussion, but just in blocks. If you have a question, um, please feel free to, to either ask myself or uh, the appropriate administrator, and we can move forward um, if that's agreeable with everyone else. 
So I think we can take all of uh, Block 6, the appointment of officers, so that would include the district clerk, district treasurer, deputy treasurer, central activity treasurer, deputy central activity treasurer, tax collector, claims auditor, and deputy claims auditor. So if I could have a motion to accept those as presented. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Does anyone have questions on any one of those six or seven items? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? All right. Moving on to other appointments, if we could take 7A through E, the appointment of school attorney, um, second school attorney, attendance officer, district auditor, certifier of payroll, um, those five. And a motion to approve those? So moved. Second. Any discussion or questions on those? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Carried unanimously. We could move through um, 7F through K. That would include records access officer, records management officer, asbestos management planner, our LEA asbestos designee, purchasing agent, welcome Lauren, and deputy purchasing agent. May I have a motion to accept those? So moved. Second. Discussion or questions, especially for any of our new members? Thank you. Okay. Um, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstentions? Carries unanimously. Uh, 7I, M, N, O, P, Q, and R. If we could take those as a group. So those are Civil Rights Compliance and Title IX Coordinator, our DASA Coordinators, our 504 Compliance Officer, our NCLB and Title I Compliance Officer, our NCLB Title I Purchasing Officer, um, Indemnification and Legal Defense Resolutions, and appointment of me members for our Health and Safety Committee. Any questions on those? Oh, you mean, so Q, you said R. You're leaving R off. I think there's. I'm I think there's. I think there. We there is no R. R. There is no R. Q R Q. Oh wait, no, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. 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 That makes sense. All right. So moved. Okay. <laughs> I'll second. I'll second. Any discussion? <coughs> those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? So we should be on S, I believe, the Finance Audit Committee. So these we probably need to take individually. I have Finance Committee on mine, it's R. S oh. yeah, is the Policy Committee. There's I'm sorry, I was... No, no you're you've got an annotated agenda. I see the red, right. which means the numbering gets off as people type in it. Ah, okay. So my original agenda is the lettering that you want to use. Okay. okay. That's where the confusion comes All in. Right. Okay. So we're on the original agenda. Yes. And we're on item 7S. We're on S, yes. Okay, great. Um, so, members that are interested in serving on the Audit and Finance Committee, um, last year was Douglas, John White, and myself. Um, I certainly would be interested in doing that, so I could put my name there. But. I'm interested in any committee. But I don't want to be the one to bottleneck the timing scheduling of it. So, but this one only happens once a year, right? Or mm -hmm. typically, it, there's definitely a meeting that will happen in the fall, mm -hmm. and there could be an additional meeting. But yes, you're right. For the most part, it's just once a year. Um, I'll just make a proposal that there was a request to hold the committee meetings at 5 p.m. on the evening of the board meeting. Mm -hmm. So. If the board is in favor of that, that's certainly a time that we could use, and I don't know if that would change or 
make it more of a possibility for you to serve on the committee? Or for this committee, committee in particular? Or for all of them? All of them. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. So Gary, Joanna, is there a third person? Should we put double on? Or? I, can, <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> We're going to put Douglas on some others, so let's, let's not use them up right away. Yeah. Do, we, do, do we have what she wants to be on? What, policy, what committee she wants to be on? I've no, yes, the, 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 uh, I think she responded to a couple. They were in the end. I'll be happy yeah. to be on the okay. I guess she didn't. I apologize. There's a couple that are which you want her to Okay. So then be it resolved that we appoint um, Gary Astles, Michelle Wright, and Joanna Haynes to the Finance and Audit Committee for a 2017-18 school year. Yep. So second. second. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Um, any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? There is the committee. Policy committee. Um, Douglas, Michelle, and James served on the policy committee 2016-17 um, this past school year. Um, those interested in serving um, this coming year? I would like to. Okay, Jane and Joanna? Yes, and I'd like to add Douglas. Okay. And is, didn't Douglas indicate this one? Yeah, okay. that's what Kimberly just oh, okay. said, I believe. Okay. May I have a motion to accept those three people for our <coughs> policy committee? <coughs> Second? Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Facilities Committee, um, Frank, Rossi, and, and I served on the committee during the past year, um, and I certainly would be um, willing and interested in serving on the Facilities Committee this coming year. Yeah, I expressed interest for this one, but again, it's the time length. It's, it's that five before board meetings that works. We can, we can make every effort to make it at five. Okay. On occasion, uh, just because the facilities often involve some architecting Construction manager, there may be a time or two that we couldn't have it at five, but we'll try for that. I'm interested in the facilities committee. Okay, Jane. So, a motion to accept um, Gary Astle, Sarah Vakas, Diane Men, or uh, representatives on the facilities committee. So moved. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? There are members. Great. Community Engagement Committee. Last year, Frank, um, myself, and Michelle served on that committee. Um, so, nominations for people that would like to serve on it this year? I would be happy to. Okay. So, nominees are Joanna, Diane, and Jane. Um, never. So um, a motion, please. Thank you. <laughs> Second. Second. Thank you. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? So moved. Thank you. Um, CSC, CPSC Special Education Committee last year was John White, Douglas, and Sarah. Um, nominations for people who would like to serve on that? I would like to serve on that. Diane, okay. Interest. Okay, and Sarah? Shall we, did Douglas? So let's add Douglas. So let's add Douglas, okay. <laughs> Teach you to miss reorg meetings. I have a motion to accept those three for our CSE, CPSE. Um, those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Transportation, um, John White and I served on the committee this past year. I'd be happy to do so again this coming year. I will also. <laughs> All right, thank you, Michelle. Everyone's Motion to accept those two for transportation committee members. So moved. Thank you. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? 
Thank you. Food Service Committee, um, John White, Jane, and Douglas served on this the past year. Um, nominations for members for the 2017-18 school year? I'm happy to stay. Jane? I'm happy to serve too, Gary. All right, Diane. Douglas used to be on that. Yes. Should we add Douglas? We'll, we'll keep Douglas on yeah. that. <laughs> Motion to accept Jane, Diane, and Douglas as our Food Service Committee members for 2017-18 school year. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Athletic Committee. Last year it was Sarah, myself, and Frank Rossi. I'd be happy to serve again on that committee. I would as well, with a caveat. <laughs> Five p.m. Okay. Anyone else? Motion to it. Sure. Yep. Oh, Michelle? Okay, wow. Well, we're we're going to use you up here. All right. Okay. Um, motion to ex um, accept Gary Assel, Sarah Vakas, Michelle Wright serve on the athletic committee for 2017 18 school year. So moved. Second. Those in favor? I can't second. You can't second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Abstentions? Thank you. Uh, TST Executive Committee Delegate, I believe that Douglas is on this through 2019, so um, <coughs> we can officially reappoint her for the 2017-18 school year. Um, so I'll, I'll make a motion that Douglas be our committee delegate for that. Okay. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? It's Douglas. Um, we need an al alternate for that position, the TST Executive Committee. Last year it was John White. Um, someone would like to serve in that capacity? All right, thank you very much. So a motion for Joanna Haynes to be our TST Executive Committee alternative delegate. Second? Second. Those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Abstentions? Right. Um, New York State School Board's le legislative liaison, Douglas has served in this capacity. I believe she's expressed interest in doing so again for the 2017-18 school year. So may I have a motion to, and a second? second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? And that takes us to our committees and Representatives, thank you. Moving on to designations. <coughs> Let's take eight. So, school involves school banks, of which are listed, and school newspapers. You may I have a motion to accept both of those recommendations? Second. Any discussion or questions? Those in favor? Aye. <coughs> Opposed? Abstentions? And we'll have to abstain from voting because of my current employment with Tompkins. Okay. Thank you very much. Moving on to um, item nine on the agenda, authorizations. Let's just take all of item nine if we can. So, facsimile signature, um, loans from the general fund. Authorization to implement check imaging. Authorizations for per diem meal rate reimbursement for conferences. Authorizations for the superintendent of schools. School business administrator authorizations. Authorization to borrow. <coughs> Authorization to suspend students for our building principals. Authorization to sign ag agricultural liens. And then petty cash disbursements to the district, middle, high school, middle school, food service, and athletic directors. I have a motion for those, acceptance of those? Second. Any questions or discussions on any of those items? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Abstentions? Something I said or didn't say? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to other items, 10. Let's take 
10A through F, which would be mileage reimbursement, readoption of Board of Education policies, our school lunch policy statement, committee, subcommittee, and committee on preschool special education, special education surrogate parent, impartial hearing officers, and he impartial hearing officers. So those six. So moved to second. Any questions or discussions on those six items? Those in favor? Aye. Are those opposed? Abstentions? Yes, Carried. Thank you. Um, items 10G through N, which would be authorization for the Board of Education Conference attendance, authorization for appointment to TST Health Insurance Cooperative for the 2017-18 school year, authorization for appointment to TST Workers' Compensation Plan Cooperative for 2017-18 school year, appointment of hearing officers, rate for bus use, and non-resident tuition rates. We have a motion to accept those, please. Yes. Second. Any question on those items? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Those motions are carried. Thank you. Items 10 O through S, which would be building use rates, athletic contest admission rates, sports medicine services, rate for food service catering, approval of school lunch prices, and approval of school lunch prices. So those, <laughs> thought I was gonna to flip to another one on the next page, and we didn't. M motion to accept those? Second. Second. <coughs> Any discussion or questions regarding those items? Can I throw in just a thank you for the the athletic contest admissions? The the issue of allowing students in for free was a big hit this year. And it was, I felt like it had, did have an impact on student attendance at awesome. games. So thank you for doing that. Great. Any other questions or discussion, comments? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay, and that takes us actually to the beginning of business, new business for the, this meeting. Um, approval of minutes, questions on those? If not, they'll stand as, as presented. Okay. Open forum. At this time, we'd like to give district residents an opportunity to ask any questions about this agenda or any other items, uh, operations within the district. Personnel matters will not be discussed in public session. Comments may be recorded and responded to by the Board of Education or the superintendent at a later date. We ask you to keep your comments to five minutes or less. Mr. Bliss. Mr. Hassels. I thought you were raising your hand because you wanted to comment. I'm just impressed with the efficiency of the board tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate that comment. Any others? All right. Correspondence, none. Administrator's report, <coughs> Mr. King. Just wanted to give everyone a quick update on how we did on our Regents exams at the end of the school year. And I'll summarize it by saying we did very well this year. Overall, uh, our passing rate over all exams was 86.7%. Passing rate on the big five, which we use for our APPR, which includes living environment, algebra, English, global studies, and U.S. history. The passing rate on those five exams averaged out at 92.5%, uh, which, when used in our APPR, gets everybody who's on that <coughs> scoring system 18 out of 20 points. So as a district, we did very, very well. And I'm really proud of the staff and the students for the work that, that, that went into this. Um, the form that I have given you is, is the big long spreadsheet that I keep track of all the results going back to my first year here, but I just included the last five years for brevity. Um, but you can look and see the, the trends and how things have evolved over the years. Um, 
we're, we're doing very solid in English. We've consistently been uh, in the 80% range, high 80% this year. We were at 90.9%. .9%. Uh, the social studies exams, you can see we were above the region also. Uh, that, that English one, the, the regional average was 80, the passing rate was 87.5, excuse me. Um, so we were above the region for English, both of our social studies exams. You'll know one of particular uh, enthusiasm is our 100% passing rate. First time, that's all first time takers of the algebra exam this year. And if you go back and look at the history, that's one that has been involved and has come a long way over the last few years. And Did some you call of that. Duncan? Hmm? Did you call me Duncan? <laughs> oh, she knows. I'm sure she knows. <laughs> she was here when they were scoring it, I think. But, um, some of that is obviously attributed to the fact that we've got stability and we've had the kids doing the Common Core modules now for a period of time coming in, so there's consistency of their understanding of the vocabulary. Um, there's also some kindness and generosity on the part of the state and the conversion chart shifted a little bit more, so. Um, uh, geometry results were not as good as we had hoped. John, can you yeah. interrupt? So that is primarily, that would be the advanced eighth graders, primarily all of the remaining and, ninth and graders. graders. Yes. Um, passing rate for geometry was not as high. There was some perceptions that the, the test was a pretty tough test. Uh, when I looked at our comparison to the region, we were lower than the region as well. But where we were successful was in the, air, in the mastery in the section where you know which is considered 85 percent above we were right on par with the region in terms of you know 15 to 16 percent of kids at mastery so our high flying kids did very well and did, did just fine on that exam um, our, our weaker students struggled with that one it was a tough one um, but i will also state on on the record with that is, is that we also have eliminated in our schedule the non-regents geometry class that we used to offer uh, and so we are working very hard to try to get more kids to challenge themselves and to take the regents exam in geometry. So the, the numbers of kids taking the exam, if you go back historically, you can look, this is the common core geometry exam, but if you go back five years ago, you can see back uh, in 2013, we only had 61 kids take the geometry regents exam, and that was when we had much larger class sizes. Now compare that to having 70 kids taking the exam this year. So. We're doing a good job in getting more kids to challenge themselves, but it's a very tough exam. The other math exam that I want to and I want to extend some significant praise is it looks like it went down, but the difference in the algebra, the algebra two and trigonometry exam now is that we have this is the first year where the students we, last year we started a two year program for that course or a one and a half year section for that course. So this year the students that took the first half of that class last year, then took the exam in January. So what I'm particularly proud of is the fact that when you look at the number of kids, 32 students passed the Algebra II and Trig exam. That means that there's 32 kids that are now eligible for the Regents Diploma with Advanced Designation. When you go back five years ago, and you, again, and you consider that it was a much larger class size at that time, only 26 kids passed that exam. So we're, we're doing what was our goal, which is to get more kids eligible for that advanced designation. More kids are challenging themselves in math, and I'm really proud of, of how they've done in terms of getting those kids ready for that exam, so. I have a question about that. Um, do you know what other, so when we're comparing it to the region, do you know if that how we look as far as that option goes? So there isn't an option to not take the geometry regions. Do you know if other schools are doing that, just to try to couldn't tell you Isn't regionally. That number a, a lot of schools are doing do different things to try to get more kids in there. Right. Um, we're trying to get more kids to challenge themselves with the upper level math. Yeah. But so I but I really don't know exactly what other schools are doing. Yeah. So I just wanted to clarify because it looks like we went down from ninety five percent to eighty two percent last year. We didn't have those kids taking the exam. This year they took the exam and challenged it. So I see it as a success. Um, and then our science exams consistently very strong. Chemistry was down a little bit this year. Uh, a tough exam and also the first year with our new chemistry teacher. Um, but she, I think, I think she did very, very well and the kids overall did well. So. I took chemistry and I scored higher on her final than I did on the Regents. 
on the local exam? Yeah, and I on the college, college, the college, I chemistry. college chemistry. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's tough. It was a tough Regents exam this year. So. so. Any questions? Very great, proud. Great result. Yeah. Please pass on our yeah. congratulations to the faculty. Anyone else for the administrator's re report? Um, I don't believe anybody else okay. intended to report anything okay. this evening. Moving on to the consent agenda, are there any items in the consent agenda that people would like pulled? If not, motion to accept. And those in favor? Opposed? Abstentions. Accepted. Moving on to new business. Then we can think, take it. Couple of these, maybe, or <coughs> let's do let's do them individually. There's um, the first item, 2017-18 substitute pay rate. So moved. Those items are and salaries are listed. Yeah. <coughs> Any questions or discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Abstentions. Can I, can I clarify, Tina, the, I'm not sure if I'm reading this right, but I just want to, so the New York State Certified Substitute Teachers should have that rate increase? Are we doing that rate increase? Oh, yep, I'll add that. I'll, like, it'll be like the language at the bottom of nurses and school monitors. Okay. They increase them to $110 a day. Okay. And 90, I'll add that in. I just want to make sure that the board knew that that was, that right, incentive yeah. was still being offered. Sorry right. about that. That's okay. So after 20 non-consecutive days of substituting, then a, a teacher would move from 86 to 110, Correct. which is the practice that it's been yeah. this, at least this past year. Okay. And uncertified goes from 75 to 90. Okay. Item 16B, entry level pay rate. Um, there is one change to this um, that I'll um, have Kimberly or Joe speak to, and that is a change in the maintenance maintenance mechanic salary rate um, should read eighteen fifty five per hour. Um, motion to accept the pay as present pay rates as presented. So second. Questions or discussions on any of those, or the the, the change in the maintenance mechanic. Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. 16C, abolishment of vacant position, be it resolved um, upon the recommendation of the superintendent. Board of Education for Trumansburg Central School District hereby abolishes the following vacant position, effective July 10th, custodian 1.0 FTE. May have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Questions or discussions on the abolishment of this position? Really you want to just quick review that for the, the public in general? Absolutely. So we have advertised for this position and due to lack of candidates, um, we have decided to change the title of that position and replace it with a cleaner. Okay. Hearing no other questions or discussion, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? And now I'm guessing this is the replacement coming up. That's correct. All right. A motion to approve, uh, for approval to increase cleaner positions to 1.0, be it resolved upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools. The Board of Education for the Trumansburg Central School District hereby approves the increase for cleaner positions by 1.0 full-time equivalent. So moved. Second. Questions or discussions on this motion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? What are we, 16E? Abolishment for a vacant position, be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education for Trumansburg Central School District hereby abolishes the following vacant position, a 
effective July 10th, 2017. Audiovisual technician, 1.0 FTE. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or discussions on this? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Items 16F, need a motion to, uh, for approval to increase the maintenance mechanic positions to 1.0 FTE, be it resolved upon the recommendation of the su superintendent of schools, the Board of Education for the Trumansburg Central School District, hereby approves the increase of maintenance mechanic positions by 1.0 FTE. So motion. Second. Thank you. Um, questions or discussion on this motion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstentions? <coughs> Item G, need a motion for approval of merger of schools for athletic activity, be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education for the Trumansburg Central School District hereby approves the merger of schools for the athletic activity as presented 2017 and 18 varsity football with Romulus and South Seneca. So moved. Second. Questions or discussions about this? What's, where are we on this five year plan? Is this year two? This or is three? the second year of the formal okay. merger. Yeah. We did merge with them two seasons ago right. just with South Seneca. This is the sec, but then we became the Tritown Titans. Right. And that program is now in its second year, five years. Yeah. So we, as a district, have committed to Romulus and South Seneca for five years beginning yeah. last year. This really is paperwork that our athletic director, Jason Hodge, needs to file with section five which is the section that Romulus and South Seneca are, are part of as an athletic conference for their paperwork and approval um, so that they can reorganize um, their uh, teams based on student enrollment. And is there a plan for modified? Do we know what's going on? So right now the current situation is that there, there is uh, a sense among our community that there are some folks that are pushing us to consider running our own modified program. However, because we do have just about 20 kids, a little over, I believe, at last check of kids signed up for the modified program. However, South Cynic and Romulus do not have enough kids, just the two of them, to run a program. And we didn't feel that it was appropriate to pull out our program and then leave them hanging. Um, so we are continuing to support the merged modified program for this coming season. Is that something we have to vote on at some point? No, I, the, the previous board has committed us to a, yeah. a five-year yeah. um, commitment with those school districts. Well, that appears to be a requirement for Section 5, that they won't consider anything less than five just years. Varsity. It's just for so JV varsity. and varsity because their designation, classification designation, is based on high school enrollment, where there's, there's no postseason play it's for modified, form. Okay. and so no class, classification of schools by, by size. Any other discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstains? Thank you. Item H, I need a motion for the authorization to sign a contract with Roberta Newman, be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education for the Trumansburg Central School District hereby authorizes the superintendent of schools to sign a contract between TCSD and Roberta Newman as presented. So moved. Second. Second, thank you. Questions or discussions on this? Just for public information, Roberta Newman uh, provides ESL services for the summer school. Okay. Any other questions? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Abstentions? Thank you. Um, ask for a motion to approve the additional summer curriculum projects as listed. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education for Trumansburg Central School District hereby approves the additional summer curriculum projects 
for 2017-18. So moved. Second. Thank you. Discussion or questions on these? Interested in this. Thank you. It's a lot of work. So there's a lot more than this. Most of them went through about six weeks ago. We have a total of approximately probably 45 projects going on this summer. These were late arrivals. A lot of them were admin generated, you know, us the tapping teams to do things, the late arrivals. Um, it's been really busy work. We're just having the conversation today. I feel like every day or at least three days a week, we're in some sort of summer curriculum project. Um, all three buildings just met last Friday and did a follow-up day in the blueprint work that we started at TST, so we have a lot of teachers taking advantage of this time. That, that's great to hear. Do we know where we, st this, we've now approved this so that they can, curriculum projects can run through the school year? It's actually a proposal. Proposal, and the new contract. It has, to, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, how much of the pot does this represent between this and what's already been approved? Do we have a... That's a great question. I don't actually have a total right now, do you, Angie? I don't. I could get it for you. Okay. That would, be, that would be great. Any other questions or discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Back to open forum. Ms. Nelson, you're a new guest. If you would like to address the board at this time. We had no takers the first time around. but I'm actually just here observing my son's at an athletic event. So I'm just here taking part in the process. Right. Well, we'll, we'll offer the opportunity to anyone else if they would like to address the, the board at this point. All right, hearing none, we'll move on to board forum. Um, Item A, review of the 2016-17 Board of Education goals. So, which have been included in our package. And I would, would ask if we could have a, a short discussion on whether we want to look at consolidating, adding, deleting. Uh, thoughts about that? I'm not sure that we, sh we will should be able to do it or would do want to do it at this board meeting, but yeah. at least to get us headed in a, a direction? Mm -hmm. Well, we are planning some sort of retreat, mm -hmm. correct? So maybe that can be an assignment that we go to the retreat with, is that? That was part of the, the actual organization for the, for the retreat, the idea that the board would be able to sort of review them, but we wanted to present them at this meeting so that we would have a chance to take a look at them, introduce new board members to them, mm -hmm. and just review them to find out where we are as opposed to where we're going. So, but I think really that the, an in-depth discussion would be available yeah. later in August for the retreat. Okay. And I do like the idea of uh, the district goals, not Board of Education goals, mm -hmm. even though that might be yeah. a little mm -hmm. assuming that but if we include the administrative team and anyone else who has input on the goals, then we could call it the district goals. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So maybe there's maybe there's a way to get feedback on the goals from from teachers and the admin team in general. Uh, so the admin team has a retreat coming up in July, the 18th and the 19th, and that is part of the work that we will be doing. We'll be looking at the goals. Um, each of the administrators will be looking to see where they feel their buildings are in terms of meeting those goals. And then we'll be uh, drafting some measurable goals for the new school year. And we'll be, share, we'll be prepared to share where we are currently at and where we anticipate going in the next school year at the board retreat. You know, we put a lot of time into these goals, and they're still, you know, those stretch goals. You know, there's still things that I don't think we've quite, you know, completely attained. So, you know, it, it's it's great to have those types of goals, and then to see that progress toward them, and then any additional information that we would need on these. But with all the transition, I would I would say they, they look they look pretty good. But let's let's talk about them at the retreat. Sounds good. And Jane. 
Speaking of the retreat, so that is something I think that, that you have, were working yes, on. So could you update us on that? Um, briefly, well, that we had discussed that since uh, there is a board meeting on August the 14th, um, that we would like to see if we can have the New York State School Board Association come in and give us um, a <coughs> an opportunity, one, to be able to sort of get to know each other a little bit, but at the same time to sort of review the operations and procedures of what a board does as well as be able to take a look at, at our goals and to be able to come up with some kind of a sort of a position where we all feel comfortable with it. Um, and then Kimberly had mentioned that uh, since the administrators were also had, would, would had a chance to do something similar earlier in the year that we would like to ask you to come in a little later that day um, so that we and administrators can sit down and we can have an active interactive discussion. Because it's one thing for us to say that's where we want you to go, but we would also like to make sure that you know or that you, that you feel as though that you can get there and sort of inform us as to maybe how you're going to get there. And what we can do to support you to get there so as we're looking forward to the rest of the year to building budgets and spending money. Right. We've tentatively um, scheduled this for August the 14th because there is a board meeting. So rather than put this out throughout the entire summer, we thought we would just take it off for an entire day. And so far, there are four of us that are able to do it. I need to, I'd have to check with you and also with Joanna. And it would be pretty much an all, starting possibly at 10 in the morning and then going through later or through the board meeting. So we'll talk that night, yeah. So I'll have to check you back. That's what I did. That's my answer also. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Well, I have a, oh, go ahead. I have a question just not about retreat or goals. Okay, before we move on, um, Ms. Lincoln has reminded me that because we don't have a Board of Education meeting prior to August 14th, we'll need a motion um, to um, approve setting that as a date for a Board of Education retreat. So may I have a motion to do that, please? So moved. Second. And we Thank should you. also be able to amend that account with Tina if it has to change. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With, uh, by doing it ahead of time, we have time to be able to right. say this has yeah. been amended to such and such a date. So uh, okay. now on, on to that topic of board retreat. Any questions or discussions on that before we vote on that motion? Uh, hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions, thank you. My question is about, um, I don't know if we can answer it here, but if if it's possible to set those committee dates ahead of time, yes. if it's gonna rotate throughout the year, it'd be nice to put them on the calendar as soon as possible. We'll set them in advance and then Tina will advertise them with the board meetings. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll also, speaking of people's schedules, mm -hmm. um, are you guys interested in having me send appointments to your calendars for board meetings? Yes, yes, please. yes. yes. I'll do that. <laughs> I got, yes, I got this. No, you guys, I'm not. I got some two thousand seven. Adding it on my phone, my calendar. I was like, Tina's. Nope, I'll do it. I, just wanted, I, I wasn't sure. Anything, did you guys oppose being bombarded? Yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm yeah, used to it. Uh, it's okay. very helpful. I'll do it. Eighth of August. I'll invite you to every board meeting. So, any other topics of discussion uh, from our board members for under board form? Welcome again to Diana, Joanna, and Grace. Gary, I have a piece that I would like to okay. share. Um, I was approached by the board of directors of the Trumansburg Community Recreation. Um, I'll just share with you what their vision is. Probably many of you have heard of them. I spoke with uh, Annette Birdsall, Todd Edmonds, and Tara Masters. And their vision is to provide safe and enjoyable facilities and programs for sports, recreation, and leisure. And they will be helping to promote the health and vitality of our Trumansburg area community. So um, this is a group of individuals in our community. They are looking to purchase a, a piece of property. And they hope to um, build some athletic fields. Um, um, they are, one of their main goals is also to put in a pool that is accessible to the entire community. So for youth, for swimming lessons, for uh, people for just uh, aerobic exercise. And they approach the district because they would like the commitment of the board 
to enter a working agreement with them. Um, Barbara Lifton is able to give grant money, but she cannot give it to an organization such as this. But they, Barbara Lifton, as you know, has been able to award grant money to the school district. So if we are committed to entering a partnership with this group of individuals, um, they would like to get that on letterhead and submit that to Barbara Lifton. So what I said is I would share the information with you. They have a one-page handout that all of you are welcome to have. Um, there's no financial commitment at this point on our part. It's really just a letter to Barbara Lifton saying that we would be a good community partner and we'd be willing to work with them if she is willing to designate money to our school district uh, to support their efforts. And, and your thoughts on this? I think it's a great idea. Um, I think that the school district is already seen as a community um, center for students to play on our athletic fields when school is out of session, evenings. Um, there's always a shortage for field space and usage. Um, we can't seem to accommodate all the groups that would like to use our spaces. And so with this combined effort, I think that we would allow our youth and even adults to have more opportunities for recreation in the community. Um, I've heard several people say that they have an interest in a pool. Um, we do have a proposal for a capital project which does not include a pool. That's always an extra and quite costly. Uh, so if we were to work in partnership with this community group, there is a possibility that we could get a pool on our campus. And most of that expense would be paid through a grant. So it would not fall on the back of our taxpayers. If we were to get a pool, would that mean that Germansburg could have a swim team? Absolutely. Because a lot of students would love to be on a swim team. Yeah. There's also opportunities for uh, retirees to use it in off hours for, you know, aerobic exercise. Um, we're nestled between two lakes. Um, there's a shortage of lifeguards. So for trainings and certifications and swimming lessons or phys ed uh, teachers can use it as part of their curriculum so lots of opportunities for us if if we should receive and be so lucky to have a grant so is that something that we have to vote on we need a motion and the time what's the timeline we're looking for it right now or this evening would be great if not we could postpone it until august What's their timeline? <laughs> they are still very much in the fundraising stages. They are looking, they have a goal of raising 750000 um, They are seeking grant writers and reaching out to various organizations um, for those grants, Barbara Lipton being one of them. So, so how would that work if the money comes to us? How does it end up being transferred to the community group or whatever. Well, it wouldn't be transferred to the community group. It's very much like the soccer field yeah. that we just received uh -huh. a grant from Barbara Lifton. So it was a DASNY grant. And so... So does that mean that the field would then be on our property? Uh, well, this wouldn't be for a field. This would be specifically for a pool. That's oh. a coach Barbara Lifton for a, for a pool. Oh. So we have limited real estate. So we would not be able to accommodate their request for all these fields but we could accommodate them in terms of a pool. And so when they spoke with other community members, um, the pool was supposed to be phase three of their planning and implementation. However, after speaking with the public and having a few public meetings, they realized that the pool is really the priority of the community. And so, you know, they are in the fundraising um, phase right now and they do have a lofty goal but after conversations with Barbara Lifton, they felt that there may be an opportunity to get the pool first. It just wouldn't be on their plot. It would be here at the district. And so our obligation would be to just open it to the public. And they would administer it? We would be responsible for the maintenance of it. What about the insurance? And the insurance. Mm -hmm. That we would be responsible for that? I believe so, yes. So the the grant would cover just the upfront costs yes. of the school. Okay. The building and the construction and financial modeling as far as taxpayer impact goes to the maintenance of the pool? Mm -hmm. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at this point. Yeah, the, and the, we have no commitment. I mean, we could 
at this point, all I'm asking for is a commitment to look at it. Um, no financial commitment whatsoever. You know, it could be very possible that Barbara Lipton is not able to come through with the funding, but um, we can't get past the point to even have Barbara look at it if if we don't if enter we don't this. Do yeah. So this is if, we're interested in an idea and we support. Interested this. in the idea and Although, support the idea. No financial right. commitment at okay. this point. The interesting point, though, is, is that if they're finding that there is a big chunk of the community that's interested in seeing this happen, mm -hmm. that could be part of a conversation when it comes to the facilities projects. Yes, sure. That's something that might help the community <coughs> to rally behind, hey, this is a big improvement on our campus. But again, we have to be very upfront about the fact that getting a pool at a high school or on campus anywhere is a, is a financial commitment long term for the district because of maintenance. Yeah. But that can be offset by community, like if you set up, I'm, I'm gonna look for Lauren, I don't know, you set up community fees. memberships or right. fees, membership fees. Very similar to the model yeah. that Watkins has. Yeah. You know, there's membership fees. So you're going to offset fees. some of those costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to not be bureaucratic bottleneck, we can say we support it, but we have reservations about the fact that there's no... We support it without there. any financial commitment right. at this point. Right. We, we support the idea <laughs> of entering a community partnership, I think would be the language, with yeah. no financial commitment, just exploration. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we should. T2L, do you have wording that we could <laughs> make a motion? <laughs> or Well, uh, just uh, approval to enter into uh, an agreement with Thomas Road Community Recreation. I think well, it could be an authorization. Could we simply say that yes, we'd be willing to investigate the possibility with them? Yes, to explore the possibility. Okay. Right. Okay. With, with no financial commitment right. at this I think time. That's let's let's put that. no financial commitment yeah. at this time. Correct. And you guys can do authorization or Meaning we can authorize the spell to, to do that? To enter it, yeah. I think if oh. we're going to look at it as, as an investigation, then an authorization we have to follow because we're asking her to continue doing the research. <laughs> so it should be an authorization. How do we say, yeah? So, a motion to authorize the superintendent of schools to further explore partnership with uh, Trumansburg. Uh, Trumansburg Community Recreation. So, second. <laughs> Any other discussion or questions? We got a little out of order. Any other thirds, fourth, or fifths? Yes, yeah, a third, fourth, or fifths. Curious where their plot is. Where are they? Um, they actually have a website for it. Do they? Yeah, and I, I'll, I have several of these, so I'll okay. give you these as we leave. Um, it's like they, 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 have, they had a plot in mind when it was recently purchased, so I think they're back at the planning stages again. So, so if we had to shoehorn practice fields or this kind of field accommodation, do we? Do we have the land to do that, or is it? Yes. Oh, yeah. yep. And if, if that were the case, what would that involve? Because um, we, we certainly don't have that open space right now, do we? No, um, but the back of our campus is mostly wooded, so there's room to um, expand our athletic fields if we cut some trees down and did site grading. and and other things. Before you did that, um, I think you need to do a little bit of historical research and find out if any of that particular land has been designated as right. a memorial to something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we know where the ones are close to them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, certainly there would be some. Uh, in 2000, I don't know, it was probably 12 or 13, Beersley did like a, a concept. Uh, adding practice fields and um, so I've taken that concept I shared it with Michael um, he shared it with probably some of the people involved um, and then I tweaked the design a little bit based on just how I would manage the field use and rotation and we shared that with them um, it's certainly feasible I think that we would really want to consider uh, talking to our neighbors behind well, us, yeah. um, especially because it would be really great if we could get access to the back side of our campus. 
So as we move forward with conversations, we should keep that in mind that we have talks with our neighbors that are close to us. So, but yeah, it's beautiful. Well, certainly seems like a almost a million dollar donation to help us develop fields here would be money, maybe possibly wiser spent um, by the community organization than separating it off campus and out, out of the village or because there's certainly no land in the village to do that at this point now that yeah, there's there's yeah the fields that they were looking at purchasing I think are some of the farm fields I don't know do you know do you remember where I know I've looked at the website but I know one of them was uh, they've spoken to a local farmer who's kids have yeah. been through the district's family yeah. I think you would know but um, but they've worked out a, a pretty I think a pretty reasonable plan for purchasing <coughs> a chunk for a couple of soccer fields a couple of baseball fields Aren't the awful fields? They're not in the village. They're right. They're not in the, the village. village. They're they're in the town of Ulysses. Yeah, right. and they're right on the edge. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, a motion to authorize the superintendent to, to pursue that. Okay. Have we had yeah. oh, a vote? I'm sorry. <laughs> Those in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Abstentions. Thank you. Thank you. So I think that any other board members in terms of questions or concerns? Um, Not a special. question or a concern, but perhaps I think what we could do is just give a, a wave to Mr. McGuire, who's probably sitting on his bed sipping martinis, and <laughs> 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 that, that he, right, he was going to watch this, but also to say, welcome, Miss Bell. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we look forward to working with Likewise. you with lots of excitement. Thank you very much. So happy being here. Okay. Then, if that concludes the board form, I need a motion for executive session for the matters relating to the appointment, promotion, of motion, discipline, suspension, dismissal, or removal of a particular person, person, or corporation, and also matters relating to collective negotiation pursuant to Article 14 of the Civil Service Law. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to an hour for you. I'm just wondering if I could get a picture of the